Well, hello everyone, what is going on? It is the Almighty Jeff, and we are here with episode 23 of Grand Theft Auto 5. In the previous episode, we started up with our second to last set of Under the Bridge stunts. We, com we, uh, well, we completed the first random event of the Chase Thieves City line, which was Chase Thieves City 1. We completed the mission of Fame or Shame, which had Michael and Trevor reuniting and uh, temporarily putting aside their differences to rescue Tracy from basic epic failure on uh, Fame or Shame and us chasing down Lost Law after he was basically being a bit too comfortable with her. Um, we switched over to Franklin, where he ran through the first triathlon. And I think we then finished up by running through the second car theft with uh, Michael. So, uh, before we head into this episode, we're going to run through our second set of peyote plants, again with Franklin, where he basically ingests some uh, cacti and, you know, pretends he's animals after them, you know, crazy times. So, I shall do a quick cut and I'll see you guys once that's done. Oh shit! Oh wow! This, this, I'm a fucking cat. I'm a fucking cat. Can you believe this? Me fucking ow! A cat. I'm a fucking cat, man. This shit rocks. Shit, I rock. Man, I got a tail? For real? Man, I ain't never had no damn tail before. Man, I got fur? Oh, man, this shit getting weird, man. Real weird. Hold on. Wait a minute. I seem to want to eat some vegetables, man. Shit. Normally, I hate vegetables. Not now. Now I love them little bastards.
Whoa. Nice coat, Frank. Is it new? No. I've always had a full fur coat. Just like every other damn dog. But you ain't a dog. You a gangster. No, not no more. Now I seem to be a dog. Look at me. How's that? Seems okay, I think. your problem come on what's the problem here someone must have a fucking problem one of you stinking fools must have one i know you do i'm gonna fuck someone up i'm gonna bite somebody Actually, who says you are? You do? And who are you? Shit, I'm the annoying voice in your head. Oh, okay. That's that deal. Leave me alone, man. Talking no old chick bullshit. Wow. This is how shit's supposed to be. Now this shit is real. What the fuck? I'm a dog? But she dog? Cool. At least I ain't no sheep. That's something. Dogs is cool. And fools are gonna do what I say. Probably. This is weird. Real weird.
all nothing. Here. Oh, what? I'm a pigeon. Wow. Man, how weird. I ain't a pigeon. Oh, no. You is a pigeon. Look at you. You got wings, a beak, and you got the whole package. Hmm. That's high. Thought I was a man. No, fool. You a damn pigeon. Franklin? Who's Franklin? Well, I thought I was. Yeah, but you got Harry Paul's in a great house. So? So shit, I don't know. I don't know what I'm trying to say here. Yeah, just shut up and enjoy the ride. Okay, uh, we're going to head into our next random event. This is the Lost of the Chase Thieves mission. This is Chase Thieves City 2, just south of Binko Clothing on this road down here. So, let's uh, run through this again. Oh, that was, that was easy. There we go. Didn't even leave. Man, I can't believe you got that guy. You really saved my ass. There you go. I persuaded him to change his mind. I can't thank you enough. My boss would have killed me. No uh, problem. Ah, don't thank me. I'd have tried to kill them all anyway. <laughs> That's true. That's very true. Okay, actually, no, I don't, don't, don't want to get in the in the, the car because uh, we're heading up north. Hey, that's perfectly timed. Whatever. I do. Thank you. We're going to go and see Cletus and uh, complete that second mission. Um, so let's head on up. Where can I take you? Uh, this is a relatively quick mission. It's uh, not a difficult one either. It un opens the hunting activity, hey, which is not required for 100% because it's only Trevor that can do it. And it's pretty long, so it's probably going to be something that I lap onto the end of a collectible set, but uh, it might not be for a while. I'm not too sure yet. Hey, Cletus. If it ain't my favorite marksman, huh? How are you, Cletus? Fine and dandy, sir. You ready to hunt some elk? Ah, uh, beat satellite dishes. <laughs> Lead the way. Oh, here you go. Now, uh, put this in your mouth. A bad day hunting still beats a good day working, my pa always used to say. Okay, okay. This is gonna be proper hunting this time, not what is this uh, thing in my random mouth? things. And why do I have the feeling I'm not the first person to use it? I'll explain that in a while. Let's start with the basics for now. Elk senses are razor sharp. If they see you or hear you, you'll spook them. And they'll bolt. You gotta move slowly and quietly and keep that aside. But an elk's nose is as big as defense. When you're tracking elk, you always need to watch the wind direction. If you don't stay downwind of them, they'll pick up your scent and be gone before you can say boo. Especially with that distinctive, uh, musk of yours. <laughs> I'm calling pot and kettle on that, my friend. All right, this is a prime area right here. You feeling ready, Trevor? Raring to go. Okay, let's see if we can bag ourselves some elk. I saw a young bull using a down tree to scratch his antlers on not ten minutes ago. Follow me. I'll keep us downwind so we don't spook him. Okay. Does we see an elk? Try and keep downhill. 
So there's an option on this to get heart shots on all of them. Um, I can't see an elk. Oh. Go on, put him down. In an awkward position there, pal. Oh, did we spook him? Oh, god damn it. Didn't even see where he was. <laughs> How could he spot me? He wasn't even facing me. Uh, no, please oh, this is a prime area right here. You feeling ready, Trevor? Raring to go. Okay, let's see if we can bag ourselves some elk. I saw a young bull using the down tree to scratch his antlers on not ten minutes ago. Well, there he is. Me. I'll keep us downwind so we don't spook him. Go on, put him down. Oh, I thought it was a hard shot. I'm here. Chill. Okay, I think we need to get three heart shots. I'll lead us further in. So I think there are still opportunities to get. I ain't seen much else or nothing else out here. Oh, we're gonna have to see if we can coax one into the open. That's where that thing you've been chewing on comes in. Ah, yes. Please enlighten me. It tastes like old person. That's a diaphragm. Mm-hmm. An elk whistle for you and me. All right, give it a good blow. See if we can get any nearby elk to holler back. All right. Sounds like someone strangling a clarinet player, and I talk from experience. Shh, listen. Oh, we got another one. Okay, you hear that? He's ah, I see him. You're downwind, so he's yours to lose, Trevor. Go get him. I'm going to need to sit your head up. Shot, like a there we go. Professional. Those are the best okay, shots. Follow me. We'll move a little further in. Stay quiet. I think we might have a mating pair up ahead. Let's check it out. Now, remember, if it's a pair, we're only here for the male. No does. That's my rule. So if you see one with no antlers, leave it be. Blow your whistle again. See if you can get a beat on them. <laughs> okay, this is good. Same as before, nice and steady. All right, Cletus. Oh, oh, oh dear. He's coming towards us. I wouldn't get much closer than that. I can't believe you see him. What do we to do? Um. Oh. Now lay him in the shade. Let's see if we can. Let's see. You got this now, Trevor. Uh, you're on your own for the next one. Tell you what, I got an idea how we can go in on this together. Text me, pick your next kill, and we'll talk business. Ah, I gotta go. Uh, good luck. I'll holler at you in a while. All right. This last one is basically putting our skills to the test. I'm not sure if that second one was a heart shot. I think it was, but Cletus didn't say anything about it, so... But we only need the three for the optional. So if we can get this one with a heart shot as well. Um, we should be right. I think it's over here, just making sure. Ah, I see him. Oh. Right, don't want to get too close here. Please, well, I don't know if that was a hard shot or not. Uh, right, there you go. I think it was. Alright. Send it to Cletus. When we get the text back, it should end the uh, the mission. He thinks. Okay. Got the photo. Another nice kill. So this is what I'm thinking. All this demand for wild raised meat with them city folks right now? If we divide and conquer, I reckon we could make ourselves a tidy little sideline. 
text me a photo of your quarry. I'll let you know what it's worth and come by to pick it up as soon as I can. I like my meat with some age on it anyways. Uh, what do you say? Yeah, I say we'll see. I got a few other irons in the fire at the moment. All right, well, the offer's there. And you can keep that elk collar. Was my grandma's before she passed. Uh, be hearing from you. All right, Gladys. Let's see. Oh, bollocks. <laughs> That's terrible. So we got two on that one. I'm not sure when that second one was. Okay, I'll do that off screen. Sucks. But um, there's the hunting thing. So we'll get that eventually done. Probably pretty soon. Before episode 30, I should say. But I'm not quite sure when. Okie dokie. Let's switch over to Frank. We'll go ahead and do that second triathlon. Methinks. Back at the old crib. <sighs> Alrighty, Roo. It's quite a taxi because we've got to go all the way up to Sandy Shores for this one. So, it's going to be quite the journey. Hey, can I get a cab? Stay where you are. i got a driver right around the corner. All right, thank. Alright, as you can see... Just all the way over here. Okay, this one isn't that much longer than the last one we did. I think it might be about six or eight minutes or something like that. The last one we're going to do is over half an hour. So that's going to be a fun one. Definitely going to be something I'm just going to speed up through. Alright. I don't think there's going to be an awful lot we can actually do after this. Um, might just end up getting my second random event and calling it. Hi. Yeah. Sign up right here. Okay. Here goes nothing. Okay. This is daytime now, so um, we'll be able to keep a good eye out, but it won't really matter too much. Sex is a great workout. I'm sure it is, buddy. I've been training, you know, ignoring my kids. <laughs> Fair enough. Right, so I'm gonna go to waste because Franklin's gonna kick your ass. Alright, come on, buddy. Under the sea we go well under the yeah, well, it is the Alamo Sea, isn't it? This area. <laughs> Bloody iPhones, tell you now. S I R I gets a bit giddy anytime anything close to her name is said. Alright. What I was about to say is that this benefits well when I was I spent ages looking for that first peyote plant in that set because obviously the underwater ones are really awkward because they're just Especially that one because it's so far down. Like it basically, you, you've got one shot at it because uh, otherwise you run out of oxygen. I guess maybe if Franklin has maximum lung capacity, then it might be a bit easier. But uh, I did end up raising that skill quite a bit whilst I was looking for that one. So you can spend a little bit longer underwater, which is mainly real issue with these now. Because obviously stamina's maxed out, so anything else is going to be fine. But it's just how long Franklin can keep underwater. I guess you don't really need to go underwater. I mean, you'll you'll lose ground definitely, and you won't keep him first. But you'll probably pick it all back up by the time you've finished your uh, cycling and running sections. So it's nice to keep that lead going, I guess. Uh, nearly there. Nearly back on land. Over a fact, like in, in that third one, like the swimming section on its own is about eight minutes or something like that. But the cycling literally takes you all the way, like basically around the map. It's, it's a crazy one. As you'll probably see, I think probably next episode I'm probably going to cover it. Alright. That's Boogie. See? We're already in a better position than last time because we're, we're all basically getting on the bikes at the same time. Alrighty. 
We're crazy. Here we go. If I remember this route correctly, I'll take us back out to towards the outskirts. And then put us and then we should be going back to the running section close to the starting line. As you can see, the cyclists are kind of gaining speed on us, like if we're paying attention to the mini map. Second place guy is quite close to us, but the sprinting section, we should nail them. It's no biggie. Alright. The sprinting section is now that long at all. You can actually, you, obviously, you can see the, uh, the ending from where we are. We might have actually done this quicker than the, the first triathlon. I thought it was a little bit longer, but it seems to be shorter. I don't know. Can't remember. I think it was about four minutes the last one anyway, so. Hey, and we're done. Good job, Frankie. Good job. First place, of course. Goal position was number one. Yeah, the, the, not point, not. The, <laughs> yeah. Clean hackers. Crazy man, crazy. Alrighty. Let's see. Okay, which one was the next one, which is literally right next to us, but that is going to take us all the way down the sea, and I think you come up around here, cycle all the way up, end up going all the way down to Los Santos and then going around and I think it eventually ends up over here or something. It's, it is very long. Uh, so, I think what we should do before we finish the episode, because we've only got a couple of minutes left, which is just because of the nature of how long the peyote plant sets are, which we've got one more set to do, as you probably noticed, and there's only seven of them. So, it's, it won't be that much of an issue for much longer. Um, but we'll do the last random event, and I think... There's only one mod really in the city. There's one sort of just outside the city. We'll not do that one just yet though. Um oh, my car is how it's set to you. And this is similar to the one that we did with Franklin a couple of episodes ago when he was lured into an alley. Except this one should be about here, if I'm not mistaken. In fact, it's better with Michael because of his special ability, which means if when he do, does come to a shoot, he has a much better chance of surviving. But I figured because I wanted to get that event done, and when we were doing it, it was pre fame or shame, it meant that uh, I'd have had to do the mission first to get control of Michael. But now that he's free for now, uh, we can get it done. Now that we've finished the Chase Thieves strand, I think we'll move into like another random event strand. We have one called uh, Hitch Lift, which I think is probably going to be the next one that we work on. Uh, there are four of those, so we'll get working on one of them per episode, which they're pretty interesting ones. Oh dear. And maybe we might start work on tidying up the last of the security vans, because it's been a little while since we've done those. Uh, which road am I going on here? Is this one, isn't it? Yeah. Because we've got uh, three more of those to go. All of them around neighbourhood Trevor. As well, at least like in San Andreas, Blaine County area. So. Yeah, but we, we do, we're doing very well when it comes to random events. Right, we'll, we'll, we'll end up finishing way before the end of the game, but it's just something to keep on top of, really. Because once we clear those out, we don't have to bother with them anymore. Same goes for, I think a lot of stuff will end up finishing quite a while before, but it's just because things stack, because every couple of episodes something new gets unlocked and I've still got to catch up on the things I've done before, so it's no biggie. Okay. So I think it's somewhere up this road, if I'm not mistaken. 
Oh dear. Possibly down this. Oh, yep. Yeah, there she is. So I think this one's called Gang Intimidation. This way! She was screaming no! And he just kept hitting her! It's just over here! We got one! Go, go, get- Go. I figured by the the name of the event, this isn't exactly her fault. I think she must be pressured into it. The body's just disappeared. Uh, so I'm gonna well, I don't really have a choice now. She's she's buggered off, but we'll we'll let her live. It wasn't like last time where the woman actually pulled out a gun on us as well. So and that does that. That's sort of all. It's, it's not a strand of missions, but because they're both similar, I guess they could sort of be classed as that, but. That's that. That's the last one of the last of the events of that kind. Thought it was Franklin then. Looks like his car. Okay, uh, well, I think we'll end the episode there. I think the other thing that would have contributed today would have been the triathlon. So if I look at a hundred percent checklist, we're at thirty-five percent. It's a bit of a hobby and pastime, but we've not done any missions. Stranger mission didn't count. Neither did random events. So, yeah, and obviously the collectible set isn't recorded 100% because it's a bonus to returning players. So, But game-wise, you know, I'm going to have to redo fair game, which sucks. But it is what it is. So, uh, what is the plan for next time? Well, next time we'll be, of course, starting with our very last set of Under the Bridge stunts. So we're doing those. Uh, we'll run through a new random event. Probably get um, the next mission done as well, I think. And they uh, might get the next triathlon done. I think it just depends on time. Then another random event after that. Uh, let's just save the game before we end the episode. Before I forget, so let's save a target practice. Okay, uh, find out what So uh, before we end the episode, let me take a minute to thank my amazing patrons. My five pound patrons are Ron Hyler, Ever the Snake, and Andrew Corbin. You can find the links to their channels as well as my other three pound pages in the description down below and on screen. You will see a thank you credit to my amazing one pound plus patrons. Thank you so much, everybody. It is so much appreciated, and it really goes far with helping out the channel. And if you wish to join my patrons and get uh, tons of cool rewards you can check the link in the description to my patreon page where you can pledge up to 20 pounds and you can get cool rewards with that so just have a look at the tiers and see if there's anything there that you like but yeah that's what we're going to end it for today i hope you guys enjoyed this episode if you did be sure to like button and subscribe and also be sure to share the video and i will see you guys in episode 24 bye guys